Hey everyone, it's Mel here and welcome back to Mel's Blind Life, the YouTube channel all about blindness. And I'm here on a feels grey Sunday afternoon. Don't know if it looks grey. Is it grey? And I'm with this girl. Max. Say hi. <clears throat> Doily. Hi. Hi. What you doing? Are you eating? You are? When are you not eating? When you're making me work. No. So I'm here with this girl and I'm just going to give you guys a quick riding and training update with my girl here. So as some of you may or may not be aware, uh, Maggie is a... 11 and a half year old uh, standard bred off the track pacer she uh, was uh, rescued basically a few months ago uh, i've been working with her for a year she is mine now uh, after a while um, and basically she's here and i've been basically having to retrain her right from the beginning I've obviously had a bit of help. I'm um, completely blind with no light perception, as you guys all know. So I haven't been doing this all on my own, but I've basically been teaching her right from the start, basic handling and learning to put the bridle on and learning to put the saddle on and everything like that. So where we're at at the moment is uh, she's, first of all, she's been on this property which I hope is going to be permanent um, for quite a little while now. I think it's been about two or three months she's been here now. So she's really, really settled in. And funnily enough, under one of her previous owners a few years ago, she was actually on this property a few years ago. So that has really meant that she's settled in quite quickly here. She's really, really happy. She's really quite at home and she's doing exceptionally well and um, she's just really really happy which is excellent so where we are with uh, riding and really her training is she's had a few lessons we've been a bit sort of all over the place really when it comes to her lessons uh, she's been under two different instructors now and one other friend but I've gone back to my old instructor who I had helping me with her uh, helping me with writing sorry when I first moved to Mildura sorry there's other people and I'm hearing screaming and I'm wondering whether they're screaming or whether they're actually screaming if you know my, what I mean so anyway so yeah so I've taken her back to the instructor who I first had when I first moved into Mildura I will link in the description down below a video a day in the life video that I did over two years ago now where I had a writing lesson with this instructor so anyway, I've gone back to working with Leslie. Leslie has been out here once uh, and she has seen her. So basically the upshot of that visit was that Maggie has got potential, but we really, really need to work on her before she's ready for me to start riding her and all the things. So um, we've started working her on some basic groundwork. As I said, she's done handling, she's done uh, some groundwork. Uh, she's used to, or she was starting to get used to having a saddle and bridle put on and all of those sorts of things. So we're obviously gonna keep doing that and keep doing some groundwork. The most important thing with the groundwork is that we have to teach her how to trot. So Maggie is a pacer, which essentially means that the gait above a walk is actually different to what it would be for her to do dressage and all the things that I want to be able to do. So if you look at the horse, sorry, they've got four legs. They've got two in the back and two in the front. So the difference with a pace is when they 
do it. So she's walking around now as she grazes. But what happens is when she paces, her front leg and her back leg on the same side move together. Whereas what we're training her to do is we're training her to move her front leg on one side and the back leg on the opposite side at the same time, which is a trot. So a trot is a diagonal gait, whereas a pace is a parallel gait as she walks around looking for more grass. So that is the most important thing that we're trying to do is we're trying to teach her to trot rather than pace. And that'll take slow progress. And my Leslie, my instructor, is also working on or going to start working on uh, putting a saddle on her and riding her herself uh, before I ride her. I haven't ridden her ever yet. A couple of weeks ago, uh, I was having another friend help me out with her and uh, my friend Michelle has ridden her a couple of times. You would remember Michelle from uh, videos in the past. So Michelle has ridden her a couple of times now, but I haven't ridden her yet. So basically my instructor Leslie and I have agreed that the only person who's going to be riding her for a little while is Leslie when she's ready to be ridden by me and everything like that and I've got you know my confidence that she's trained safely enough for me to ride only then will I go anywhere near riding with her and Leslie and I both want to be 110% certain that Maggie is safe for me to ride so obviously um, she before this wasn't 100% fully broken in uh, it's taking a lot of time and work to do that so we have to make sure that she's 110% safe for me to ride her so she's doing good aren't you big girl and she's learning and we'll get there eventually huh yes